61A, lecture number 21, announcements. Homework four is due today. ANTS is due next Friday, but you have to do part of it by next Tuesday to get the checkpoint, and you can get an early submission bonus point for submitting the whole thing by next Thursday. That's what I'd recommend. We will double the number of people working on office hours next week, so there should be more appointments and faster responses on the office hour queue. We also have more people working on Piazza. So hopefully we can answer your questions in a timely manner. I know it's hard to get help in a remote course, but we will do our best to be more responsive than we were in the last project. Homework five will be posted tomorrow and it's due not next week, but the following Monday, the 26th. We'll try to keep it short because this Monday is right before the midterm. And completing homework five is a great way to prepare for the midterm. So that's why we're having a do right before to make sure that you get a little bit of practice. There is also a lab that week, but the only required part of lab nine, which is on 1026, the due date for homework five, will be to finish homework five. There will be several optional problems that I highly recommend that you do on the lab as preparation for the midterm, but nothing will be required. So you'll just have one thing to do early that week, which is to complete homework five, and then take the midterm on Wednesday. The midterm is two weeks from yesterday. Advising office hours will be held on Fridays from 1 to 2.30 on the office hours queue. And right now we have an anonymous survey about how things are going in the course that I encourage you to respond to. I see that several hundred people have responded already, so thanks for that. I didn't see any consistent suggestions about how to change the format of the midterm, so it will be fairly similar to how we ran midterm one. It will cover content up to and including today's lecture. Lectures next week are just uh, optional or review. And one thing that was very clear from the responses to the anonymous survey is that you want more practice working on tree processing problems. Well, today in lecture, we'll talk about trees again, looking at them from an object-oriented point of view.